Lola from Wedding Whoops. 50 things not to do on your wedding day. And we want to ask people, what would you do if your bridesmaid or groomsman slept with the person that you're supposed to be marrying? We're going to see what the public thinks. Hi, I'm out here with Angel. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. And yourself? I'm doing great. So, are you married? I am not, but I am married to my mother. Okay, so I want to know, what would you do if your groomsman slept with your bride? What would you do? I'd leave her. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, I think it'll take a, a whole bunch of forgiveness mm -hmm. to move ahead from that. However, I don't think that's the kind of forgiveness that I'd be able to offer to her because that that's pretty serious. So, Andres, are you married? No, I'm not married. So, what would you do if you found out that someone in your bridal train slept with your groom? I wouldn't marry him. <laughs> no, no, no second thoughts, nothing. Hi, this is Lola, and I'm here with Jose in Central Park, and I just want to ask him a few questions about 50 mistakes on a wedding day. What would you do? If you found out that, let's say, someone on your bridal train or one of your groomsmen slept with the girl that you're about to marry, what would you do? I'll cut, I'll cut, cut off the wedding. Absolutely. It's, done. it's over. So, are you married? I am, yes. Are you married? I'm not married. Okay. So, what would you do if you found... Well, how long have you been married? Almost 25 years now. Oh, 25 years, okay. Let's be a little bit more specific. Uh, next Friday, I will be married for 25 years. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. So what would you do if you found out that the woman that you're married to now yeah. slept with somebody, one of your groomsmen? What would you do? Uh, I immediately would marry her. Really? Still. You still will marry her? Yes, because next to you, on the right side for you, uh, from you, you see Luke. He's my son. Luke, do you agree with that? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be here if they wouldn't be married, so. But what if their relationship happened way before you guys even met? Like, it's just, and, but you're finding out about it. What would you do? Uh, I mean, I think I'd probably keep her on as a friend, but in terms of romance, I don't think I'd be able to do that because the insecurities that I'll have because of what happened in the past. You know what I mean? I'm a firm believer of like, yes, you can forgive, right? But you can never forget. And if it's your friend, should have told you Absolutely. before. Even if it was like way before you guys met in the past, you still cut it off, no forgiveness. No forgiveness because I should have known about it. You know, to find out on my wedding day, that'll be devastating. And, and especially the friend that's on my wedding, like if he's a member of my groom's party and he didn't tell me, oh, definitely, it's over. That's true. What if their relationship happened before you guys even met? Uh, he should have told me. So what about for your own situation? If uh, you were going to marry someone and... I wouldn't marry someone who cheated on me. You wouldn't marry? Even no. if the relationship happened way before you guys met? Um, if she cheated on me, I wouldn't have married her. If she would have cheated on someone else, um... I would marry her because I could still trust her. Maybe someone else can, but, but I can still trust her. So what about the friend? Um, friends is different. I, uh, he, he would still be a friend of me. Uh, really? Yeah. It would take time, of course, uh, but uh, that wound can heal. Wedding Whoops 50 Things Not To Do On Your Big Day ebook will be coming out on Amazon this Friday, October 27th for 99 cents only. Or you can check us out for more information at www.weddingwhoops.com. See you next week on another interesting episode of Wedding Whoops blog.